Oxford Read and Discover Level 4. All about plants. Introduction. Plants are very important. We need them for food, wood, medicines, and many other things. We see plants all around us, in fields, parks, gardens, and even in our homes. What plants do you know? What plants grow in your country? Where do the plants grow? Discover! Now read and discover more about amazing plants. Chapter 1. Plants in our world. Plants are living things. They feed, breathe, grow, and make new plants, but they are different from animals. Plants don't move from place to place like animals do. Plants keep growing, but animals don't grow when they are older. Scientists don't know how many plants there are, but they think that there are more than 300,000 types. Many of these plants grow in rainforests. Scientists think that there are thousands more plants that we don't know about yet. There were plants on Earth more than two billion years ago. The first plants didn't grow on land. They grew in water. It took hundreds of millions of years for plants to change and to grow on land. Before plants, animals did not live on Earth. There was no oxygen in the air, and animals need to breathe oxygen. Plants produced oxygen and food for animals. They made life possible for us. Discover! Plants started to grow on land more than 400 million years ago. This is a fossil of one of the first land plants. Chapter 2 Different Plants There are many different types of plant. Scientists put plants into different groups. They think about how plants grow and how they make new plants. Most plants make seeds. These plants are called seed plants. New plants grow from the seeds. Many seed plants produce flowers. These plants are called flowering plants. Most of the plants that you see around you are flowering plants. How many flowering plants do you know? Some seed plants produce cones, not flowers. These plants are called conifers. Some of the world's tallest trees are conifers. Discover! The biggest cones can be 40 centimeters long, and they can weigh 4 kilograms. Plants that don't make seeds are called non-seed plants. Ferns and mosses are non-seed plants. They don't make seeds, but they make tiny spores. New plants grow from these spores. Chapter 3. Plant Parts A flowering plant has four main parts. Leaves, stems, roots, and flowers. The roots hold the plant in the soil. They take water and minerals from the soil. The leaves make food for the plant. The stems take water from the roots to the leaves. They also take food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. 
The stems support the plant, too. The flowers make seeds, and new plants grow from these seeds. Different vegetables come from different parts of a plant. Potatoes are from the roots of a plant. Asparagus is the stem. Cabbages are leaves. Broccoli is the flower. Food like apples and oranges are fruits. Fruits grow from flowers, and the plant's seeds are in the fruit. Discover! The biggest seeds are from the Coco de Mer plant. They can weigh 30 kilograms. That's about the same as a child who is 10 years old. Chapter 4 The Life of a Plant Plants change at different times of their life. They grow and make new plants. When they get old, they die. This is called a life cycle. A new seed needs water, oxygen, and warmth to start to grow into a plant. The plant grows bigger and produces leaves. Then, the plant produces flowers. The flower has male and female parts. The female part of the flower has eggs. The male part of the flower makes pollen. To make new seeds, the pollen from one flower has to get to the eggs of another flower. The plant needs the wind or insects, like bees, to help. This is called pollination. The pollen and the eggs join together and make seeds that grow inside a fruit. Some plants die after this, but other plants grow and make new seeds for many years. The seeds can't grow if they are too near each other. Animals or the wind take some of the fruit away from the plant. This gives the seeds more space so that they can grow. Discover! Seeds can live for many years before they grow into a plant. The oldest seed to grow into a plant was 1,300 years old. Chapter 5 How Plants Feed Plants need food to grow. But they don't need to find food like people or animals do. They can make their own. This is called photosynthesis. Plants use sunlight to make food from carbon dioxide and water. Plants get carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. The food that they make is called glucose. During photosynthesis, plants also produce oxygen. Photosynthesis happens in leaves. In the leaves, there is chlorophyll that makes the leaves green. The chlorophyll catches the sunlight so that the plant can use it for photosynthesis. In summer, plants make lots of food because there is lots of sunlight. They can store some of the food for when there isn't so much sunlight. In fall, they start to use the food that they stored. Then, there is less green chlorophyll, and the leaves change to yellow, orange, or red. By winter, there are no leaves on most trees. Discover! Some trees have special leaves that make food even in winter. 
they never lose all their leaves at the same time. These trees are called evergreens. Chapter 6 Plant Habitats A habitat is a place where something lives. Different plants have different habitats. Some plants need sun, and other plants need shade. Most plants can't grow in very dry, cold, or wet places, or in places where there isn't much sunlight. Some plants have special ways of growing in these places. The cactus can grow in hot, dry places, like deserts. Its roots are near the top of the ground, so that it can take in water quickly when it rains. It stores water in its stem. The Arctic buttercup can grow in very cold places. It's very small, and the flowers grow near each other and near to the ground. This helps the flowers to live in the wind and the cold. Seagrass is the only plant that can produce flowers under water. The waves pollinate the flowers. Fish use seagrass for food and shelter. Chapter 7 Plants and Animals Plants and animals need each other. Plants produce food for animals to eat and oxygen for them to breathe. Many animals make their homes in or around plants. Birds and insects, like bees, flies, and butterflies, pollinate flowers when they feed on the nectar inside. Many animals eat fruits from plants. They leave the seeds in new places so that new plants can grow. Insects and other animals can see some colors better than others, so different animals like different plants. Bees like yellow and blue, but they can't see red very well. Flies like light colors, and birds like red. Many flowers have patterns that help bees to find the center, where the pollen is. People can't see these patterns. A plant's smell is also important. Bees like flowers that smell sweet. Birds pollinate flowers that don't smell at all. Some flowers smell like meat. Flies pollinate these flowers. Chapter 8 Plants and People Plants give us food and oxygen. But we need plants for lots of other things, too. Our clothes, books, and many other things come from plants. Lots of our doors, chairs, and tables are made of wood. Our erasers and bicycle tires are made of rubber. Wood and rubber come from trees. We need plants to keep us healthy, too. Lots of the medicines that we use come from plants. Which things in this bedroom come from plants? The gasoline in our cars comes from plants and very small animals that lived 300 or 400 million years ago. Very slowly, mud and rocks covered them, and they changed into oil. Gasoline is made from this oil. Today, 
people are also using plants to make other fuels, like ethanol and biodiesel. We can make plastic from plants. Sometimes there is plant plastic in our cell phones, computers, or even our socks. This cell phone is made of plant plastic. Discover. Plants can make us feel happy. Many people have plants in their gardens, and they like to help them to grow. Chapter nine. Amazing plants. The world is full of interesting plants. Here are some really amazing ones. The smallest flowering plant is the wolfia. It's less than a millimeter long. The plant is round, and it doesn't have any roots. It grows on water. Eating wolfia plants is good for you, but you have to eat a lot of them. Most plants need insects to pollinate them. But some plants also eat insects. One amazing insect-eating plant is the Venus flytrap. It has traps with very small hairs. When an insect walks over the hairs, the trap closes. The Titan arum is one of the world's smelliest plants. It produces flowers about every six years, and when this happens, it smells like bad meat. Flies like the terrible smell. Coast redwoods are the world's tallest trees. They can grow to 110 meters tall, and they can live for more than 2,000 years. A coast redwood can make six million seeds in a year. Chapter Ten: Save Our Plants. Plants are very important to us, but they are in danger. When people build new homes, roads, or airports, they cut down plants. In the rainforest, people cut down trees so that they can grow crops to sell. Today, there are lots of palm oil farms in the rainforest. The plants lose their habitats, and Earth loses hundreds of different types of plant forever. Pollution is another danger. It puts dangerous chemicals into the soil, and these are bad for plants. How can we save our plants? Use paper carefully. Use all the paper, and then recycle it. Buy recycled paper when you can. Be a good shopper. There is palm oil from the rainforest in a lot of food. Don't buy things that have palm oil in them. Be a good gardener. Grow lots of plants, but don't use dangerous chemicals. Take part in a project. Some wildlife charities do projects, like planting trees. Discover. Scientists are collecting seeds from different plants, and they are storing them in seed banks around the world for the future.